This next one, uh, well, I first should say uh, I'd like to know how many people uh, here play guitar. Just hold on, you can say how many. Um, and how many people play piano? Yeah, great. Well, this next, this next piece is, uh, is one that I didn't write for the guitar originally. I wrote it for the piano. And I'm a really poor piano player. And uh, I sort of, I wrote it in the wrong key because I play the piano in the key of C, which makes it real easy because I only have to use the white keys. And uh, I decided to stretch my uh, technical ability and wrote it in the key of G, which uh, caused me all kinds of problems. I finally threw the piece in the corner and said, forget it. And uh, after a while, I decided I, sh I should probably play it anyway. I wrote it, so I'll play it on the guitar. So uh, I try to uh, make the guitar sound like a, uh, a piano because it's originally a piano piece uh, for the first part of the song. And for the second part, then uh, uh, more like a guitar. Uh, the piece is a is sort of a ragtime piece, and I call it uh, Grandma's Raggy Old Pajamas <laughs> with the subtitle Grandma's Raggy Old Pajamas. So. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, in case in case you don't hear the difference between the piano part and the the <laughs> you don't hear the difference between the piano part and the guitar part I'll 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 tell you when it when it changes so then it <laughs> saves confusion that way um, yeah this is really odd for me because I normally play without any microphones or anything and I, I feel like a bit like Frank Zappa up here with this huge sound it's really weird. Thank you. 